Hi everyone and welcome to Curly and Yiny. My name is Milena and today you can join me as I am finishing the weaving of my stash buster dish towels. So let's get to it! So a few weeks ago I uh, posted the first video about this project, so uh, this video was about a stash buster project in which I was weaving kitchen towel. So in this video I wove two of them and today I will be uh, weaving the two remaining towels. If you haven't missed the first video, I will link it in the description down below. So in the first video I went over uh, the warp pattern and uh, in the first two towels I wove with a cotton slab and also with some uh, plain if you'd like normal 8 to cotton. For the two remaining towels I will do things differently just because I like to do this. <laughs> so uh, for uh, the first of the two remaining towels I will be weaving with some cotton boucle. It's kind of curly cotton if you'd like so it reminds, it reminds me a bit of my hair. <laughs> and so I have them in three colors so this is a after all a stash buster project so uh, I will be using the colors that I already have and I don't have as many colors in cotton bouquet as I have in normal 8-2 cotton so uh, we will not find in this weft all the colors that I have in the warp but it's fine it's still gonna look pretty good I think so I have uh, three colors that are the same in bouquet and in um, the warp so here they are so here I have some natural I have Orange Brûlé, which we can also find in the warp, and I have Sierra, which is the same brown that we can also find in the warp. So the cotton bouclé, it's uh, in terms of weight, I think it's uh, similar to 8 to cotton, it's not so thick, but the way it's made, it has like little uh, curls, it's finely twisted, so you have a lot of texture in it, and I think that's gonna make it hand towel or a kitchen towel that also has a lot of texture. Uh, for the weft pattern, I'm going to do things a little differently also, so I want to do a different pattern than I've done so far. And so, uh, there will be different two basic parts in it, so there will be the brown stripes and the orange stripes, which will be different. I still want to get the same idea that I have in the warp, so in the warp, when I have those uh, color, I have, we have two warp threads of, the nat of one of the colors, so for example here I have two green, then two natural, two green, two natural, and two green. So uh, I want to repeat this still in the uh, wave pattern but in a different way than I did in the other uh, towels. So let's just uh, jump on the loom. Right, so here we are at the loom. Um, so we already have a little uh, bit of a uh, preview of what we're gonna do. So, uh, but let's start with the beginning of the weft pattern. So first of all, what I do is that I weave uh, three inches of natural. Uh, so I've already started, so uh, now I will keep going. And then the first stripe of color that I did in the pattern was brown, so we'll do this. I just for about uh, 3 inches of natural and uh, this is uh, the width uh, of natural that I put in between all the blocks of color stripes uh, in the uh, towel. The only time I did it differently was at the very beginning and it will also be at the very very end of the towel where I actually go for 4 inches of natural before starting the stripes. Uh, the reason for this is that I wanted to allow a bit of space uh, to do the hemming. So once the hemming is done uh, then I should have a little less than 3 inches natural before the stripe starts so the whole towel will look a bit more balanced. So um, now uh, we have three inches now I can start uh, the first uh, stripe block that I did so the first one is the brown one. So for the brown one is the very is the simplest one so for this one I'm redoing exactly what I have in the warp into the weft uh, so this uh, stripes uh, would look very similar to the one I did uh, in the towels from the other video so if you haven't watched the other video I'll walk you through this one too <laughs> so uh, in the warp I have uh, two warp threads of brown then two natural two browns two natural and two browns so I will uh, do the same thing but in terms of picks now, so I will be weaving two picks of brown, two picks of natural, two picks of brown, two picks of natural, and two picks of browns. And then I keep weaving with the natural for another three inches. So 
So now we have woven another three inches so we can get to the stripes with the orange brulee, so the burnt orange. So uh, for this one I'm doing a little variation of the pattern. So instead of weaving three stripes, I'm gonna weave five. Uh, but it's gonna be the same kind of stripe, so it's gonna be two orange, two natural, two orange, natural, and so on. Five times, so let's get to it. And now I'm gonna weave, uh, normally I would weave for another 3 inches, but uh, I already have 36 inches woven and I aim to normally weave around 40 inches, so I'm super lucky because <laughs> uh, 36 plus 4 will make 40 inches so that would be exactly the length that I want and uh, that would just fit perfectly so I'm just going to weave 4 inches of um, natural and then that would be it for this towel. Now we have one towel done and one more to go. So for this last towel, I'm actually aiming more at a, something similar to a hand towel, so I want something a bit thicker. And for this, I'm going to use Kit and Chenny for the weft. So I have uh, in my stash four different colors and I'm gonna use. Uh, so I have some white that, and some uh, dark green. I'm not sure exactly what the name of this one was, I'll have to look it up. <laughs> so those two you've seen in my video about weaving bath towels. And I also had some orange and some navy blue. I will write down here the exact name. So uh, those yarn are for most of them not exactly the same color as in the warp, but they're very similar. So I think it's, it's gonna look okay. And uh, the one that's gonna maybe clash the most is the white because it's much brighter than the, the natural, but I think it can still look nice. Uh, so we'll just start this. So please note that all of the yarns that I'm using in this video and also all of the yarns that I used in the previous videos uh, are Maurice Brasson yarns. So all of them are available through uh, the Woolery's website. Uh, so I will provide all of the name of the colors and also all the links uh, where you can uh, check them out in the description down below. So uh, if you're very curious, you can just go and check them out. Uh, just note that those will be affiliate links. So if ever you click on it and make a purchase, then I would receive a small commission from it. So uh, there's no more cost to you. It's really just a way to encourage my channel and to help me uh, make more videos. So first, I am taking some scrap yarn from another project and I am um, I'm putting it on a shuttle, so uh, I will be weaving a few rows of scrap yarn in between uh, the two towels simply to uh, separate them when it will be time to uh, cut them loose. My shuttles are full and we can get started. So for uh, this um, towel, I'm still inspired by the same kind of theme of the other towel, so the pattern will be kind of similar, playing around with small stripes, but I just make it a little different. I'll be putting a little twist to it. So, first of all, I am going to weave four inches of white. So now we are four inches in, and I'm going to take the green and weave three stripes like I see in the uh, warp. So for the first stripes, it's a business as usual. So here I'm keeping the idea of the little stripes in the warp in the way of the same, but I know that uh, I won't be able to get the hands to the fit because my weft is much more thicker than my warp, so I don't think this uh, would uh, work. But still, I, I, I still want the same idea to uh, be represented in the weft. Uh, so now the three stripes of green are done, and I'm going to weave for three inches with the white again. So now we have woven three inches of white, and I'm going to weave stripes of orange and this time I'm going to weave four of them.
And now we're going to uh, weave the stripes of blue. By now you might have figured out where I'm going with all of this, so uh, this time we'll be weaving five stripes of blue. I feel like as I'm filming this, you can actually see the progression of the sun. <laughs> so the days are much shorter now in Canada, that it is uh, winter is coming very well. Winter is pretty much here, but as we are approaching the 21st of December, uh, the days are shorter and shorter. So <laughs> not so late in the day, but already pretty dark. So I'm kind of rushing <laughs> to the weaving of this to make sure that I can uh, film it all today with the sunlight I have left. But, so now back to the weaving. So as you can, you can guess, um, I just saw four picks of blue and so now I will be back to weaving with the green and this time I will be uh, weaving six picks of green. All right, so now I've just finished weaving the six uh, stripes of green and with this marks the uh, middle of the towel so I want my towel to be approximately 40 inches and I have woven exactly 20 inches so uh, from now on I'm simply gonna do uh, the mirror effect what I've just done or if you prefer the reverse so I will be weaving after that three inches of white and then I will move on to a uh, weaving for blue and so on until the end let's just weave this and now the Sun is completely out so <laughs> good timing as well uh, welcome back so uh, the last towel is done and I realized I still had a bit of work uh, so <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> I did a miscalculation somewhere but it's fine because I have this surprise warp that I can weave with and try something new uh, so uh, with this I wanted to uh, simply make some uh, rags uh, to you know to clean the dishes or uh, to uh, to clean up and that those rags will also be a little bit matching uh, all the towels so that could make a very cute uh, kitchen set um, so uh, for those as they are a surprise work for me uh, I'm and I don't know how much longer I really really have <laughs> I'm I'm guessing not much longer I just wanted to have fun you know uh, so I uh, took out some uh, 8 4 cotton that I had I'm picking 8 4 cotton because because I wanted those rags to be just a bit thicker and I have them in three colors uh, so I had it in a uh, stone so it makes it works pretty well with this warp. I also had it in Sierra, which is the same color as uh, here, and I also had it in Orange Brulee, so burnt orange, which is like here. So by now, <laughs> you probably guess that those are probably close to my two favorite. Uh, yarn I have them in almost all kind of yarns <laughs> so <laughs> I really like them <laughs> so uh, for now what I'm doing I'm just uh, having fun making different thickness of stripe so uh, nothing planned just just having fun Welcome back. So now everything is off the loom. Uh, so now what I need to do is get this into a uh, wet finishing. So uh, I will also be uh, taping the process of wet finishing those towels. So I've already made a video about how I would finish my handwoven pieces, but this video was more focused on uh, stuff like scarves. And I do things a little differently when it comes to towels. In the upcoming weeks, I will be making a video about wet finishing towels uh, with this project. So I will wet finishing them, of course, but I will also uh, be hemming them. Uh, and I'm very really excited to see how they're all gonna look like after wet finishing. But right off the bat, I can show you what they look like right now. Uh, so here's the um, 
First of all, we did to get it today, so uh, the one with the cotton boucle. Uh, I like to uh, look at this towel once off the loom because I feel like we really get a sense of uh, the larger scale of the pattern. And uh, I really, really like uh, how I played with the different stripes in this one. Uh, here we have the, uh, the one with the... So here we have the one with the uh, cotton chenille. Uh, so I like how the stripes worked in this one. I'm excited to see after we're finishing really this one how it's going to turn out. But I love how uh, I managed to make it centered too. Uh, so that wasn't really calculated, it just happened this way. <laughs> Um, and from last video, you will probably recognize the one I made with egg to egg cotton. So this is probably so far the, my favorite one. <laughs> so it's pretty much what we did in the work into the weft and uh, really I love how it's looking. So I feel like maybe one day I will be making another project with this exact pattern because I really like it. And finally we got the, the first, the very first one we made and we can uh, the one with only a cotton slab, uh, so very simple, but it still does the trick. And uh, so, so this is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you're wondering, yes, this is uh, my inspiration for my next towel video. Uh, so I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna use all four colors or only three of them, but it's definitely gonna be looking a little like that. So that's a bit of a, a teaser <laughs> for one of my upcoming video. Uh, so thank you so much for being here with me uh, today and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.